It was after that day game win over the Boston Bruins that Lundquist met us at his restaurant, Tiny's, in downtown Manhattan, where he's a co-owner. He sat for a drink and a snack before heading out to dinner with friends. As we sit here, you're two hours removed from the game. Yeah. Are you totally wound down now? I'm, I'm pretty tired, but the brain is still going. Are you a mess before the game? I'm pretty uh, strict and, and focused. So you, you would not really talk to me. Like how? <laughs> <laughs> My no, teammates know that. They don't approach me. I nobody mean, says a word to you. I mean, they, they talk to me, but they, they don't They don't really, expect a response. No, not really. No one, no one gets near him. They just don't, they, he goes about his business. He has his, you uh, don't speak to him? No, I don't. What does he get into? Himself. He is, he is locked into himself, but he does not see anything else around him. I have my routines, you know, game day. It, it always looked the same way. I, I, I take my sticks, yeah. uh, I get my equipment ready, and then I might just sit down and, and think about the game and listen to the music. What do we listen to? <laughs> I've been listening to the same music for the last 10 years. What? And it's punk rock. Come on. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I mean, I'm Your not... Your own, the stuff you play? No, 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 no. Uh, I start to listen to Blink-182 when I was probably 18 or something. And I still listen to the same music, even though sometimes it's four times a week. You know, I, I, um, I still do it.